talk to you. Just talk to you. I don't even know if you're going to talk to me. I'm going to talk to you. Out loud? Look, look, we out here. This is what we out here for. You understand? This is what we out here for. We out here to build up our people. And so they can understand the things, the different things that we wrapped up, whether it's Christianity, whether it's Islam, these things we wrapped up in is because why? We was put into servitude, we was put into slavery. When you're doing your research, as you're researching, as you're going on in your life, I want you to look up something called the Sub-Saharan Slave Trade. You know, you familiar with that? I'll listen. Okay, so just look it up. Just keep that on your mind. Okay. And the Sub-Saharan Slave Trade, this is when the, the so-called Arabians, the so-called Arabians, they actually had us into in captivity before this man. Okay. And they was pushing us to different places like here. When you look on this map right here, they was taking us from Africa, which is, they was entrapping us, and they would ship us to places like Arabia, places like China. You understand? That's that's all in the sub-Saharan slave trade. Like the Great Wall of China, who do you think built that? We, did. we built that. How did we get over there? We got over there by the hands of Arabs. When they was catching us, when the so-called Hamites, the real Africans, was catching catching us, and they was selling us to the Arabians, and they was selling us to the four quarters. Just look this information up. That information is in the Bible. Watch this. Give me Joel chapter 3. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something, Black Big Brother. We build it. We build it. We don't, we're not enemies. we just been misled to, to think about these different religions, these different philosophies. These things was forced on us. This is what we got to understand. You said it's always forced. Yeah, I'm not, not per se you, but I'm talking about us as a nation. Okay. These things were forced on us, just like Christianity. That was forced on us. That's why a lot of our brothers and sisters in Baptist, uh, uh, Catholicism, different things like that. Not individually, but as a people. You understand? Watch this. Give me Joel 3. Joel, chapter 3, verse 1. For behold, in those... Verse 4. Watch this. Verse 4. Go ahead. Yea, and what have ye to do with me? O Tyre and Zidon. It's a prophecy that one of our forefathers wrote in the Bible. It said, what do you got to do with me, Tyre and Zidon? As you do your studying, understand, Tyre and Zidon, these are two African countries, two Hamitic countries. Watch this. When you look at this sign, this right here, somebody hold this sign. Hold this sign. This right here, these are the real, these are the real Hamites. It says, what did you have to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? He's talking to Hamatic people. This is our forefather Joel. Watch this, read. Yeah, and what have you to do with me, O Tyrians I die? Read. And all the coast of Palestine. And it says, all the coast of Palestine, the ancient Palestinians, they are the Arabs today. You understand? They're going by different names. Ishmaelites. He said, what do you got to do with me, all the coast of Palestine? Watch this, read. Will he render me a recompense? And will you pay me back? Why is he asking, hey, will you pay me back? They did something where he said, will you render me a recompense? Watch this, read. And if he recompense me, swiftly and speedily will I return your recompense upon you. If you even try to recompense me, I'm gonna give it right back to you. It's something that the so-called Africans did and the so-called Palestinians did that the Lord is saying, will you try to pay me back for what you did? And if you do, I'm gonna recompense you. Think about this. Think about reparations, right? They just passed reparations out of California, right? Is there an amount of money that the so-called white man can give to us? No. No. So it wouldn't be in America. I mean, if they were to give anything back, if they were to give all the reparations back, they wouldn't have no America. Right. They wouldn't have none of that. Right. So, so, so think about think about what your God is telling our forefather. He said, if you pay me back for what you did, I'm gonna give it right back. There's no amount of money that you can give me to pay me back for what you did to my people. This is what he's saying. He's talking to the Africans and he's talking to the Ishmaelites, the so-called Arabians. Watch this, read it again. And what what, what, what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? Go ahead. And all the coast of Palestine. Go ahead. Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me, swiftly and speedily will I return your recompense upon your own head. That's like if somebody comes to you and say, I'm gonna give you a million dollars for the rape, robbery, and torture they did to your forefathers. You gonna be like, to hell with this million dollars. Right. Take this shit back, I want the world. Right. You understand? This is what you gonna say. That's the mindset of our forefather. Read, watch this. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold. He said, because you stole from me, read, and have carried it into your temples. He said, and then you carried it to your temples, to your Mecca, read. My goodly pleasant things. Go ahead. The children of Judah. He said, my goodly pleasant things. You carried the children of Judah. Who's the children of Judah? You just said, you're Judah. So you got the so-called Arabians that 
put, took you into captivity. Who the Lord said, if you pay me back, if you even try to pay me back, I'm gonna give it back to you. There's no amount of money that you can give that what you did to my fourth, to my kids. Right. The children of Judah, which would be Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Read the children of Judah right. and the children of Jerusalem and the children of Jerusalem, which would be our northern kingdom brothers and sisters, our Hispanic, Puerto Rico, Dominicans. All what they did to us. Watch this. Read. Have ye sold? Have you did what? Have ye sold? And have ye sold? Read unto the Grecians. Who are the Grecians? Who is that? I don't know. The Grecians, the ancient Greeks, the so-called oh. white men. That's right. So he's telling them. He said the so-called Africans. And the so-called Arabians, they stole our people and they sold them to the white man. Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Here in slave trade. So this is why we, a lot of our people have been accustomed to Islam because we grew up, we grew up in, in slavery. We grew up thinking that that was the way. This is why in these last days, the Lord said, now I'm gonna send my prophets out in these last days and I'm gonna show you, no, that's not the way. This is the way, so this is the Bible. That, that, the, so, got so, okay. the, watch this, let's, let's, watch, watch this, this is so sad. The Trans-Saharan slave trade, also known as the Arab slave trade, was a slave trade in which slaves were transported across the Sahara Desert. Most were moved from Sub-Saharan Africa to North Africa uh -huh. to be sold to Mediterranean uh -huh. and Middle Eastern civilizations. So they was taking people from deep in Africa. This is why a lot of our people ended up in Morocco, Tuzanan. This is why we ended up in North Africa because they were selling us to these various places. When you, when you, uh, there's a movie called um, uh, Gladiator. Gladiator, and there's a clip in Gladiator when he asks, hey, where is this slave from? He's from Morocco. You understand? He's one of those African slaves. You understand? Because that's, that's the ball. Yeah, exactly. This is what he was talking about, the sub-Saharan slave trade. All this was going on during that time period. As you research, this is what you're going to come across. This is all we're telling you, big brother. What you got? So, 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 okay. So, the Quran, you saying that is just false? Yes. No, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you. I want you to research it. But listen. I'm not pointing at y'all, my bad. No, you good, bro. You good. I'm saying, like, it's the Quran confirms the truth of the Bible and the Torah. And in the Quran, doing the study, man, there's just too much truth in there that's prevalent for, I feel like, the African people of today. You know what I'm saying? There's too much going on, too much truth in that Quran to say for me. Right. To say that it's just all fake. That's just not a no go for me. Okay, That's watch this. No on, watch this. To say that, to say, to be, for me to be so bold to say that none of that is your word, Allah. None of that is your word. That's just I'm gonna no. Show, I'm going to show you something out the Quran. Hey, I want y'all to pick up the second book of Sur. Watch this. We're going to read the Quran. Listen to what the Quran says. say then the Bible is fake. Watch this. We're going to show you. When you do, as you research it, listen, as you do your research, you look up Muhammad. Look up how Muhammad started the Quran. I'm like, watch this. Just watch this. I'm talking about Muhammad, the, the actual Muhammad. You understand? He was an illiterate man. There was rocket. He was roaming around Jews. A lot of his customs, a lot of his laws, he learned from Jews, from children of Judah. Because we was in Africa, because we have fled Africa, fleeing Roman persecution. This is hundreds of years when we fled Jerusalem, we started migrating down in Africa. So as we down in Africa, here you got the so-called Arabians coming down, the Palestinians, they started to take over our land. The so-called Arabians, they started to move, move into Africa, which we were already there. So he started to learn a lot of our customs and he put it in the Torah. And he, uh, what he I'm not in the Torah, but in the, uh, in the Quran. And what he did was he set up, just like, watch this, I'm gonna read you something. Go to Deuteronomy 16, 16. This is just an example, right? Because they say the Mecca, you gotta make a high city Mecca. So watch this, listen to what's in the Bible. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 16. Three times in a year shall all the males appear before the Lord thy God in the place which, where which he shall choose. He said three times a year, every male has to appear where the Lord shall choose.
When you examine the Bible, it tells you the place he chose was Jerusalem. Okay. So now, as Muhammad is learning this information, he's seeing this. Wait a minute, in the Bible it says three times a year, every man is supposed to meet in Jerusalem. You know what? We're not going to Jerusalem, we're going to go to Mecca. I'm going to write in my Quran, every year, every seven years, a man has to make their hajj to the Mecca. That law he got from your Bible, he got from your Torah. And that's just one of many. If you ask any brother, like a lot of times we walk around and brothers don't really understand our faith, understand that we the Israelites, and we say, hey, hey, like our kids, you eat pork? No, we don't eat pork. The first thing in people's minds that they ask us, are you Muslim? Yeah, that's, that's, that's the first thing that they ask. Hey, are you Muslim? Why do they ask that question? Because in the Bible it tells us we cannot eat pork. And he understood that, Muhammad understood that, and put it in his Bible. Right. That comes from our records. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Watch this, man, we can show you. Give me that Leviticus chapter 11. Okay, watch this. This is out of the Quran. Watch this. All right, this is the book, Surat Asharara, Sharara, 26, verse 23. This is in actually in the Quran. If, if, so is this going to be some truth? Yeah, this is all right. If, right, if you about to we tell go, some truth, how you going to say the Quran? Watch this. Because, I, like I just told you, a lot of the customs, a lot of things that he got, he got from where? The Bible. Right. Listen to what he wrote in his Quran. Quran just means recite. Just do your, do your research. Watch this. 26 verse 22 what's it and it and it is and is it a favor of which you remind me that you have enslaved the children of israel said, it's a it's a favor that you remind me he put his people in remembrance he said that you took the children of israel in slavery where did he get that from we read that in joel chapter 3. we read that in the bible it's just like the so-called white man yeah. when you think when you pick up a lot of these books they write to their family members, hey, this is what happened. Yeah. This is what happened. They yeah. pass that information yeah. down yeah. so their grandkids can understand we took these people into captivity. You are above, you are not equal. The same thing that he put in the Quran. He said, I want, I want to make you in a remembrance that you took the children of Israel into captivity. And Joel just told you, you cannot pay me back for what you did. That's biblical. You see what I'm saying? I want you to speak on the mic. So, so, so is the Quran a lie or is it truth? Then? The Quran, that's what I'm saying. So, is it what I'm reading? Princess Muhammad, took, you, you're saying that he took truth from the Bible and put it in the Quran. So, is the Quran truth or is it a lie? Now, think about it. Think about it. No, he went. Is it a lie no, it, it's a lie because why? You listen, listen, you listen. Is listen. It a lie or not? Listen. We we are we teaching is it a lie right here, or not? bro. Bruh. But none of y'all have an answer. Yes, they got an answer, but I'm teaching right now. So what he's okay, saying is, okay, but you teach what he's saying is, listen, listen, bro, bro, I'm answering, I'm telling you, it's a lie, right? because we just read out of Deuteronomy 16, so you 16, truth you line, come to the Mecca, listen, did, did the Bible say come to Mecca three times a year? Did the Bible say that? That's what you read. No, I read that it goes to Jerusalem out of the Bible three times a year. So when he wrote that in the, and when he wrote that after the Bible was already established, did he write did he write a lie or did he write the truth? Mm. Think about it. If he's writing the truth, why not just keep it, hey, let's go to Jerusalem. Right. Okay. Why switch it up and say let's go to the Mecca? Right. Because why? It means to recite and what he was doing was reciting a lie because he understand. Give me that in Amos 9 and 11. Amos 9 and 11, I think it is. All the prophets. Two and eleven. Watch this. You good, bro? You good? <clears throat> Amos chapter two and eleven. Watch this. Amos chapter two, verse eleven. Watch this. And I raised up of your sons for prophets. He said, "This is what our forefathers." He said, "I'm raising up your sons for prophets." Muhammad was not a prophet. I'm raising up your son a prophet. Watch this. Read. And of your young men for Nazarites. Go ahead. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel? Said, even it, it's not that the case, you children of Israel. I raise up your sons for prophets. What you won't find in the Quran, my brother? Do your research. You won't find no prophecies. No prophecies in the Quran. Do your research. You do your research. You come to the school with your evidence, right huh? The no, I'm talking right. about you come to our school. We come to our school and learn. It's on the back of the fly, right here. This is our area just okay. to the school. Any questions that you got, bro, we go into the Bible. We're going to show you. And we can show you history. Why do we got to go? Why can't we go to, to what I'm in? Why do we got to go to the Bible? Why can't we go to the Quran? Because you have to show me. You have to show me out your Quran. You have to show me prophecies. Okay. That's a challenge. 
Yeah, you accept my challenge? Yeah, I can All do right. that. I can All accept right. that you, challenge. Oh, my bad. You accept, accept you show us prophecies out of the Bible because we can. said Muhammad was not a prophet. He was not a prophet. Hey, if he was, listen, hey, my man, because you said it, you agree with me. No, I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with, I agree that, that what y'all saying has a lot of validity and truth in it right. and enough to where I do want to study it. Right. And I do believe a great portion of what y'all doing. Just, up, but I, but for you to say, for you to say okay, yeah. that, for you to say that, or, or forgive me, please know, yeah. respectfully, I don't yeah, want to yeah. be on the mic, respectfully. Okay. But I don't, I, I just, I just, it's one thing for, for, for me to listen to you and say, that you know the Quran is about lies. Ain't no two thin. And then you turn around and say that he's not a prophet. Now, now I'm not, I can't I can't in, in all honesty say that you're lying because that's not fair. That's not fair. I, but I will say that I need to go back and shut my mouth and go study more. You see that's what I'm saying? Spirit. That's a, I can't. So I'm that's a humble say, spirit. Give me that second uh, Chronicles seven and fourteen. That's a humble spirit. This is what the Lord is asking from us, from all the Israelites. Because some of us, is, some of us is so uh, the scriptures describe it as we seared with a hot iron. Yeah. Meaning, meaning we've been so indoctrinated yeah. in these different religions, it's for, it's impossible for us just to wake up and say, okay, you know what? Maybe this is not right. Let me just do a little research. See, you see, see what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. that's where you at. You, yeah, you my mind is open. I'm telling. Yeah, I'm willing. Watch this. Is that what I want? Yes, sir. Watch this. Second Chronicles chapter seven verse fourteen. Watch this. If my people which are called by my name. He said, if my people which are called by my name, the only people on earth that's called by the God of this Bible's name is the Black Hispanics and Native Americans. Right. We call the Israelites. He said, if those people, read it from the top, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves. He says, shall humble, just humble yourselves and understand that the Lord said, when you break my commandments, I'm gonna put you in these various religions. I'm gonna give you over to these religions. But if you humble yourself, you have that ability to come back. Watch this, read it again. If my people, which are called by my name, right. shall humble themselves right. and pray and seek my face. And pray and just seek his face, meaning seek the truth. Seek the truth, read. And turn from their wicked ways. And then turn from your wicked ways. Once you start to understand, oh, wait a minute, there's holes in this. Because that's what you're gonna find. The same way I, the same way I was wrapped up in Christianity. I had down there, uh, um, the uh, what they call it, the one percenters, uh, the Masons. I had Masons all around me when I came into the truth. You understand? But when I start getting this information and this knowledge, I start seeing holes in the doctrines, holes in the doctrines, and then build myself up to understand this Bible is the truth, bro. And then it engulfs everything, bro. That's what you're gonna realize one day. You understand? This is why the Lord said, read it again from the top. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear them from heaven. He said, then I'm going to hear them from heaven. Because right now, the Most High ain't hearing our prayers. This is why our ghettos look the way they look. This is why our communities look the way that they look. Watch this, Rick. And will forgive their sins. They will forgive their sins because sin got us into Christianity. Sin got us into Islam. That's the root of the problem. Watch this, Rick. And will heal their land. He said he's going to start to heal us. They're going to start to heal us. For now, we're not looking at each other. Right? We're having a simple dialogue. We're talking and we're building with each other. You understand? That's all we ask you, bro. That's okay. the reason why we out here. I can get Fair enough? I can get all right, praise to the most high, bro. All right, come on, officer. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Oh.